Hello Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or, you know, if also if you were just attracted to the title <clears throat> in it as well, hey, if it resonates, then it was meant to be, right? Let's see what we got going on for you. The Nectar, okay. I like this for you, and look, on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Mother. I'm feeling a sense of replenishment here, too. Um, nurturing. Oh, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. <clears throat> Something is lining up for you. Coming out of the dark into the light. Uh, new beginnings. Blooming. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Not giving in to temptation. So we've got the devil card here. <laughs> but also I feel like maybe there was a sense of a know-it-all energy, Aquarius. Maybe you had really checked yourself here lately. And thought that your perspective was the best perspective. This is not where I thought this was going to go. But that's okay. This is part of your emotional development here. And that's okay. There's no judgment going on. What other deck for Aquarius, please? Let's get a couple of cards here. I'm gonna shuffle a few times. I'm loving it though. So far, you have been really like, maybe that's what it was, was you were in this darkness, holding yourself accountable, having a lot of doubt in yourself because you were like, oh, I was such a bitch back then. I can't believe, you know, like, you're really putting yourself down over some a few small instances. And I mean, I, don't get me wrong, we all have our days, right? But it's how we choose to see the situation and how we choose to react as well. One, two, three. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck, yeah, harmony. Coming into that harmony, that alignment. Ooh. I'm excited to see what this is. <gasps> yeah, see, positive movement forward. Going towards that sun, I see. Going away from heartache and loss. But this heartache and loss has taught you a lot in life. It has given you a lot of wisdom, especially um, involving uh, relationships, especially with family members, I'm feeling here. And as I've got this little sweet cross over here, it says a sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Maybe you're feeling a little lonely, Aquarius. But everything happens for a reason. And you might be in the midst of a breakthrough. Let me switch, push these over a little bit so we have room here. I feel like this card should be here. And this one should be here. There we go. That feels much better. A lot of wisdom. I brought you this little dog here. Maybe there's a need to be paying attention to your animals. Your animals are trying to give you signs, messages, trying to let you know that they need you, okay? So you're coming out of this scarcity mentality, this lack thinking. Um, could be financial losses that you've had in the past. I've got another card over here too. Look, it's helping you gain emotional maturity, though. Whatever situation that heartache and loss was, it was for your highest good. It had to happen. Now it's time to give back. After that loss. Let me get another validation card for that. Ooh, that fell off. Okay. There was some sort of loss in your intellectual standards, okay? There was... Like, uh, different viewpoints. And we've got resilience. So it was like you were telling yourself you couldn't do it. You can't do it. You're too weak. You're too slow. You don't have the mental capacity. Like, really putting yourself down a lot, I feel, Aquarius. Okay, we're moving to another deck now. What would that be? <clears throat> Animal spirit guides, they say. <sighs> let's see, let's see. 
the chameleon, stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. So maybe that's what you had been trying to do all along was control the outcome. Also our thinking patterns and how we expect or anticipate an outcome to happen. There's another card here. Hold on just a moment. <clears throat> And we've got the octopus. There's two more cards. The octopus, practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. And then we've got the chameleon staying in the background. So you're really just blending in. Maybe you felt like you had been overlooked your, uh, a lot of your life. But when we stay in the background and essentially when we fear that people are going to ignore us or we fear people think this way about us and we're projecting stuff out there that's not really real... You, you're intentionally brought upon a, a lot of heartache and loss on yourself by looking at things from the wrong vantage point, from the wrong perspective. And then we've got, yeah, Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think. Wolverine. Hmm. That's interesting. And it's a time for deep emotional healing. So there's something... Probably from your childhood as well. That's been stimming up, coming up. <sighs> Let me darken the screen a little bit because it looks really bright. I know I've got my little globe over here. That's my angel globe. Or my uh, angels. Let's see what these moon cards have for you though. <clears throat> There's a sense of developing... A better emotional maturity around it this scarcity mentality was within yourself i think you had about yourself not only maybe uh the relationship with income and money and finances but how you viewed yourself yeah mothering yourself nurturing yourself have faith that it's all going to work out mm. setting better boundaries for yourself Protecting your time and your energy. And then we have take a reality check. Uh, yeah, something big here with animals. Where was that card? This card right here with this little dog. Okay. Okay. The wolf is here. You might be, you know, sometimes in life we're, we're meant to go it alone for a while. So you might be feeling like a lone wolf in sorts. Mm. Feeling exposed and revealed. You've been rejecting some things because... I don't know. Maybe this read made you feel exposed and revealed. I don't know. Third eye opening here. I think that's 3121. And then the other card that I had pulled while ago was 41, I think. Yeah, there's something coming here, coming towards you. Spirit's bringing you some sort of emotional help, okay? And look, look at this guy giving this little kid one of his cups of flowers. I said it's time for, a time for giving right now with that generosity. You have the strength within you. She's closing the lion's mouth. She's trying to show him that there's no need to be ferocious and angry and mean and mad. Okay, you could be seeing 888 a lot or the infinity symbol as well. But as we are exposed and revealed, this is going to help bring the strength to you. It's going to give you more courage and strength because when we're able to make our let ourselves feel and be vulnerable, that's when that strength really arises in us. And you could have Leo placements in your chart as well. But there's this essential, this came out in reverse, so this guy looks discontent and bored waiting for his seeds to, whatever the word for that is, I can't, I'm going blank right now. Uh, discontent and boredom. Let's see. Final outcome. Yeah, you're wary. You're tired and you're wary of this journey. You've been through the ringer. And I feel like a lot of it, you've put yourself through the ringer. You've been going through a long phase of rest. Maybe you have to take 
resting breaks several times throughout the day and that's okay too. Look, I'm 40 years old and I'm pretty healthy and I'm pretty fit now too, but I still have to stop after I clean my kitchen or a vacuum in the living room. I still have to come in and, and disconnect and rest. And uh, whenever I'm doing this too, whenever I'm doing reads, I have to go in and cleanse my energy and disconnect as well. So there's a lot of rest here. It's, you're, if you're not going through this now, you will be. And there will be a time for this deep replenishment. This nurturing and mothering yourself. Put yourself to bed. Tuck yourself in. Give yourself a nice little snack. Okay? Because this is helping to bring that emotional fulfillment that you're so yearning for, Aquarius. Wow. A couple of angel messages here let's see what we've got here on this angel answers for aquarius angel answers for aquarius please if you believe so if you believe that you're not going to be able to do this and that you're going to have it's going to bring you a lot of heartache or in loss then you're essentially you're going to bring heartache and loss to you but if you believe you can do this you believe in yourself you believe you have the strength to endure and the resilience to endure you will have the strength and endurance. It's all about the mindset. That card wanted to come out. There's a sense of compromising. This could be compromising with the people in your life. Compromising with your ego, your higher self, your spirit team, the angels. Pay more attention to your animals though, okay? We've got an owl here too and a black cat. And the time may come about a situation to get more information. That's funny. I'm putting that right next to the hermit. So there's something that you need to do. The answers are within. Going within. But there is no need to worry about circumstances. Okay? Trust. And listen to your intuition. Because you're going to have great success. And of course, again, if you believe, it's up to you. Okay? Ask for a sign. And a time frame is within the next few weeks. Okay? This is all I have for you, Aquarius. I hope it helps if you haven't already. Do me a great big favor and hit that like and the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified when I put out content, hit the notification bell. Love and light.